Yep, the post-game continues. We are back with more of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix post-game, and last time we took on Sephiroth, it was a rather really short video, but that's not why you're here. Let us get started by taking on the absent silhouettes. I thought things can't get more challenging than this. Oh, yeah, man. We face off a first against the close steamer. Oh, great. Now we're stuck in the page. And now I'm going to dispel you. And this should pretty much do it. Not again. Wait. Nice, that got him. And that takes care of that. Zaxi is in a difficult fight, but if you want, use Final Form and spam Duraga when he's open. Then you'll get him. Man, what a fight. We obtained the Book of Shadows, a synthesis recipe that requires special materials and a lost illusion. One down, four to go. And our journey isn't done. Okay, so if you want to know, I'm saving this one for dead last. Because reasons, I guess. Alright, next up on the list is that we're going to have to head to the Black Pearl. Why? We need to head to the East Night of the... I'll eat out of the muertos. That's where we have to go. Hold on. Before we do that, we need to head to a high point. Are you serious? I can't even get that? No, that's lame. Now I can. Alright, good. Now that we got that, let's be on our way. We need to head right here. And we're gonna have to fight our way through. That's special. It's over. Better for me, because I gotta at least grind until I reach about like level 80 or level 90. 90 for the last part. But anyway, yeah, this is the next one, and it's gonna be a shocker. Face off against Larxene, the Savage Nymph. And yeah, Larxene is a bit vicious. Unfortunately, nah. Not even close. Larkstein wasn't even close to being tough.
So much for that. We obtained the recipe Cloak Thunder and another Lost Illusion. That makes two, so we only need three more to go. Okay, so who's next on the list? Oh, I know. We'll just head here to Agrabah. Now before we begin, let's customize our, short our shortcuts and set to Faraga. What for? You'll see. Next battle is against the Chili Academic. He goes by the name of Vexen. He's number four in the organization. And sadly, he's not even that difficult. Nah. Really? You put up your barrier now? Yeah, forget it. You're not even close to being worth it. Just go final form, spam Faraga, the fight's a joke. See what I mean? We are in the recipe, The Road to Discovery, as well as a third Lost Illusion. That makes three. And now it's time we move on to number four. Number four is in Twilight Town. Yeah, I'm spoiling it. It doesn't really matter by this point. You just need to head to the Sandlot. And yeah, the only reason why I saved Marluxia as the last one, because he's actually one of the most difficult. Anyway, here comes number four. Now we face off against the silent hero himself, Lexius. And his power level is now around 6,100. Yeah, that ought to teach you. Oh great, here we go. Well, already right off the bat, this fight turns out to be heavy. That got him. I gotta make sure I do the same and deal as much damage as possible. Power level's now at 60,000. Wait, there's a reason I got this set up for this. When you do this, then activate the play. Yep, that did it. It wasn't really that hard. Time your reflex and you should be able to deal heavy damage to him this way. Otherwise, prepare to eat the power of Earth. Jeez, that was crazy. We obtained strength beyond strength, as well as a fourth lost illusion. Which means there's only like one more to go. Ugh. Yeah, if you wonder, I had to edit out most of the times I went down. It was, like, embarrassing. Especially the one with the large scene fight where I actually went anti-form. And I never went anti-form. Ever. Now for this last one, you're gonna have to head right here to Beast's room in Beast Castle. Rather, yeah, it's in, in the Beast Chamber. Yeah, because the last one is right there. And before anybody wondering, yeah, you may want to set your shortcut to Firaga. Why? So that way you can be able to survive this. Anyway, this is the last one. This is actually the hardest of them, but I will persevere.
I truthfully hate this one. We faced the graceful assassin, Marluxia. Yeah, if you're wondering what he's doing, yeah, that bar is a counter. And it hurts. I'm getting really upset with him now, and if you wonder, his health is really high. Now I'm being really careless with this. And you get an aerial strike. And I gotta make sure I deliver the most pain as possible. Nope, didn't work. Yeah, those things equal like one hit. Super glide as much as possible just to avoid it. You don't even want to get hit by that effect. Come on. Yeah, just do two Firagas and you should be able to shut him down with that. Yeah, you're not even going to bother doing that move. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is where... This is where actually the worst part of this, because... Let's be honest, you're gonna have to keep on moving and moving and moving. No matter what, because Marluxia is above you and he's gonna launch that sight of you and it's gonna really hurt. Nice, aerial strike. Keep on dishing out the damage. Yep, here we go again. Yeah, I still have bad memories of taking him on in the PS3 version. Really, I'm doing really bad at this. And unfortunately, you're beat. You were hard, but not hard enough. And our drive gauge is now at level 8. Nice. With all that said and done, we obtained the Eternal Blossom, another synthesis recipe, and a fifth lost illusion. And yeah, that's it. We've defeated all the absent silhouettes. All five of them have been defeated. And I think we're that's pretty much it. That's everything. Mm-hmm, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. Next time, we'll be doing the Mushroom 13. And the Mushroom 13 is gonna be a challenge onto itself. I'm gonna do something a little different. You wanna know what that is? I'm pretty much gonna be making 13 separate videos, and each video will have me showing off, trying my luck to defeat the Mushroom 13, and it'll be compiled in one little package. So you're gonna like it big time. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button, it really does mean a lot to me. Do you wanna see this post game through to the end? Show your support. It does mean a lot. This is Mega Man NJ signing off. Peace out. I gotta get to grinding.